I loved music. I wanted to become a musician, which I couldn't because I was told to become an engineer, which I couldn't. So music, I listened to music all the time, Indian classical music and sometimes other music also. And I feel that all that music, that beat and emotions that you inherited from masters, they live inside you. Okay. For me, music is playing even when there is uh, no music player or anything happening in front of me. Still, my beat, my rhythm, that has been created by so much of classical and grand music of India, which is mostly divine. I have my own rhythm playing inside me all the time. The divine moments, the instinct come comes alive when your eyes are connected to your heart and when your heart begins to sing and when your heart begins to receive you know people say hey, this man talks from his heart this man looks at everything from his eyes that are connected to his heart everybody feels enriched hmm? they say you become one with the city you become one with the situation. Mentally, physically and spiritually, you combine yourself with what is happening in front of you. Okay? When you invest all of you into the reality of daily life, then the daily life begins to perform that kind of rhythm because you become a part of the whole. And if you become a part of the whole, so the rhythm inside you, the music inside you begins to play in front of you and life begins to perform for you. Nature begins to perform for you. This is the meditative aspect of any art form which photographers should understand. And the, 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 the word creativity means change and innovation and explorations all the time and the work but, but the difficulty is from daily life from documentary photography to capture a, that magical moment divine moment of a change you have to invest yourself 100 percent all the time now comes fuji film gfx 100 with 100 megapixels they are mad and this camera has 4x5, 2x3 and above all, panel mode. So you can use the wide angles, you can use the zoom lenses, you can use anything on this. I have been photographing the Janta Nora off and on. And the wall paintings of the Janta, you know, it's a world heritage site. And the Alora temples, cave temples. They are dug into caves. And if you see 20, 30 pillars, they are not carved and put there. They are dug out of the rock. And the sculptures and the statues, they are dug out of the rocks. And you can't falter because you cannot replace. And if you look at these Aurora caves, and their sculptures and their masterpieces, they are so amazing. Now, you see what happens, people see two, three pillars and a sculpture in between, they say, oh, wow. But me, like a thirsty, mean man, I don't see this much and say, wow, I want to inhale all of this. And this is what I have done with my new technology and new camera, that my images, they capture so much more and with 100 megapixels the tonal values the details the contrast the textures of the rocks done centuries ago before christ they are an amazing experience which will be converting into a big book and an exhibition so this thanks to this technology that today it has given me you know the control and the power to get it out and enhance the details. 
And you see, uh, this is because this is also 50, more than 50 years of experience of creativity, dedication, and commitment to wait for the magical divine moment to amalgamate with the situations and create that powerful expression. Because you alone, you are nobody. But when you are with the divine and the rest of the world in front of you, you are a much larger entity that you can ever think of yourself. So with all these experiences, with humble folded hands, I still wait for him to bless me. And it keeps happening. This is the